Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2017 as Real Madrid. So today we are in Champions League last 16 action as we host Manchester City in Madrid. Barcelona also in action as they host Benfica. Benfica with a 1-0 lead from the first leg but I expect Barcelona to overturn that. So let's select the team. Marianne Prince is not going to start in goals. It is going to be Keylor Navas with Kiko Garcia on the bench. Let's have a little look. <clears throat> Aishik is not going to make the bench. Danilo is going to be on the bench for him. Our question is what we do with regards Carvajal, Gaia and Danilo. I'm going to take Gaia off. I'm going to put Danilo on the right and Carvajal will go back to the left. I'm going to play... <clears throat> Let's see, Navas, Danilo, Rugani, Ramos and Carvajal. And there's an ice cream van outside, if you can hear that. Toni Kroos and Kovacic as the central midfield pairing. Modric is not quite ready to come back yet, only at 62% conditioning. Bale, Ronaldo and Morata. And there's questions about Isco in there, but I'm going to leave it as Isco. I'm going to take Zika off the bench for James Rodriguez. Got Modric back there. Berardi, Origi, James, Modric... Alejo, Gaia and Casilla. I'm going to go with this. Varane also at 67 is not quite ready to come back in today. I fully expect this team that I've selected to be able to do the business. We are 2-1 up from the first leg. So they would have to get two goals here. Let's see, they're going with the more or less the same lineup. They're going with Griezmann as the striker this time instead of Aguero. They're playing De Bruyne wide left, Sani wide right. They're playing David Silva deep where De Bruyne was last time. So Overall, I actually think this is a weaker team because they're losing some pace up top there. De Bruyne is not particularly quick wide right. 14 pace, 14 acceleration. Uh, okay, never... Yep, closing down. We could tight mark De Bruyne though because he's not particularly quick, as I say. Closing down all these lads. Closing down Griezmann as well. Not closing down Casemiro. Hopefully Casemiro can get sent off as he always did for us last season. So encourage the team. Say they should be able to win this without any problem at all. And here we go, it's time to get into the last eight, into the quarter final of the Champions League. So let's hope we can pull that off here. We're of course 2-1 up, but you know Manchester City definitely have the quality to trouble us. So Fabinho to Gundogan, nicked by Carvajal, Kovacic on the ball now, plays it back to Carvajal. We just need to calmly get out here, plays it to Navas, he should be able to move move it forward to the defender, he doesn't, he chooses to launch it aimlessly and Stones will easily bring it down, poor from uh, Navas there, Casemiro to Silva who finds Gundogan, Griezmann coming short for it, he plays it for De Bruyne who's actually managed to sprint beyond Danilo which really disappoints me, ball played in, hits the post as Keylor Navas kind of collapses on his goal line, a little disappointing but no real danger there. Corner will be taken by Kevin De Bruyne but hopefully nothing will come of this, we should be able to get rid, it's headed away. Sani picking it up though, playing it back. Dangerous ball for De Bruyne there. He does keep it in, cuts it back, but Carvajal's alive to the danger and clears. Morata will pick it up, but I fully expect him to be dispossessed here. Mm, he's raced by the fullback. He doesn't have any support. He is brought down by Coentrao, and that is great play by Morata to get us up the field here. Will Coentrao get a book? Bo get a book? Get a booking? Nope, he will not. Carvajal now. Throw to Kovacic, they're all back in their box here trying to defend. Kovacic driving forward, space opens up, but it's high and over the bar. Good so far though, Manchester City restricted to no shots on our goal in the opening 20 minutes. Bale booked for a challenge on Casemiro though, which is a bit annoying. And Cointrao will take the throw in. Cointrao to Casimiro, and it's cut out by Danilo. Hopefully, we can flood forward now. Isco gets the ball. Isco over the top for Morata. Can he get to it for the defender? He might. He does. Good first touch. Takes it towards the goalkeeper. And it is 1 0 Morata. Morata now has all three goals in this, uh, this tie. Fantastic from us. And now they're in a bit of trouble, Manchester City. They still only need two goals, but now two goals only gets them to extra time. Brilliant from us. We've looked the superior team, if I'm going to be honest. Gareth Bale will come off at half time. He's not been particularly fantastic and he has that booking. So he'll come off for James Rodriguez, who will actually play off the right. Berardi is not going to play off the right this game. I'd like to get him some big game experience in that central midfield role. Casemiro to Gundogan, forward to De Bruyne now. De Bruyne, who's very ginger in this game. 
11 shots to 0, 12 to 1 now. Definitely commanding, but Silva delivers it in. We have to clear our lines, we do. Comes as far as Sani to Stones. Lots of space for Cointrow, and oof. Agent Cointrow doing the business for us again. Another free kick now, Griezmann, as Manchester City look to push. <coughs> Excuse me, Casemiro to company and Sani forward to Gundogan. Now De Bruyne, can he slip it? Oh, what's a great ball out wide to Fabinho. Looking the cross, he's closed down. It's a good block, but it'll break to Silva. And now Sani crosses for Griezmann. And the former Atletico Madrid player equalises for Manchester City here. I'm going to have to assertively tell them to concentrate here. Danilo looks very nervous, which is not good news for us. He is playing well though. Possibly want to take Carvajal off for Gaia, but I'm not certain just now. They've made a change. Let's have a look at what they've done. De Bruyne is back there and Nasri's playing further up. I'm not too concerned about Nasri. As Nasri plays it forward. Ramos away though. Danilo now. Oof, it's a bit nervous looking, shall we say. Ronaldo charging at them though. Ronaldo now playing it to Morata. Can he hold up the ball here? He plays a great ball to James, who's a lot of space. Claudio Bravo though with a good save. It's a save he should be making, Claudio Bravo, but we almost managed to seal the game there. One more goal, really, I feel, would do it for us. Sergio Ramos now in the referee's book, and we're going to bring on Modric for Kovacic now. As Otamendi prepares to take the throw in for Manchester City. Carvajal cuts it out well, though. Ronaldo can't get in ahead of Otamendi. Sane now to Fernandinho, and Griezmann, well dispossessed there. Forward by Rugani to Morata. Morata driving. Can he find Ronaldo? There he loses it actually over the top from company, but it should be Keylor Navas's ball, and he claims it comfortably. I was a bit worried about Griezmann getting through there, but ball rolls to Navas. Navas taking his time now, kicks it long towards Ronaldo. Can he win the header above the fullback? Nope, because it's Otamendi. Carvajal into Kroos. Cross now looking forward, good ball to Morata, not a good touch though, John Stones will play it back to Claudio Bravo, it's a very nervy game now, Claudio Bravo playing it long, De Bruyne flicking it on, picked up by Nasri, Nasri to Griezmann, they're still playing the same formation, it looked a bit different, Nasri now gets a shot away, it's easy for Keylor Navas to just catch that, and I think we're going to tighten this up a little bit now, I would prefer not to give away too many chances, Vallejo is going to come back and we're going to go for the 5-4-1, Ronaldo is going to be a winger, James Rodriguez is going to be a wide playmaker and everybody else is pretty much just going to change to more defensive setup now, Modric can be a deep line playmaker, so can Kroos, so they're just going to stay like that, we're going to go more defensive, more structured, <clears throat> we're going to drop slightly deeper, more discipline, stick to position, stay on feet. We're not going to look for the overlap anymore, and we're going to waste a little bit of time now. We're just going to try and see the game out here. I have every faith in the players to do this, assertively tell them to tighten up. And then for the last little couple of minutes, we're just going to go to a completely defensive formation, way deep, clear it to the flanks, play even safer, just, just get to the end of the 90 minutes. 30 seconds to go, Danilo with the throw in, I think we'll be seeing it out now, Kroos with the ball inside, Modric picks it up, Modric out wide to Danilo as it ticks towards 20 seconds, Tony Kroos, Modric, come on Modric, oh what a flick that is to Morata, 15 seconds, Danilo Kroos, I think we've done it now, Modric, just simple ball back to Rugani where we've got a 3 on 1 against Griezmann there, they've stayed with the same formation, all the way to the end, which is a bit strange. I thought they might have tried to throw the kitchen sink at us, but they didn't. A 1-1 is not the best result at home, but you know what? We go through against a tough team, so I'll take it. And Benfica have actually knocked out Barcelona. Whoa! <laughs> I did not expect that. Barcelona just compounding a dreadful season as they go out 3-2 to Benfica and it's an 84th minute goal from Zivkovic there after they had missed a penalty which presumably was then turned in by Zivkovic but wow a terrible season for Barcelona they will not be retaining the Champions League which means the only side who've managed to stand in our way so far are now out of the competition so we're going to go forward to the draw we'd like to have a little look at 
how they're going to be, you know, who's going to be in it. There's a couple of games left, which it should show us, yep. Roma and Shakhtar is the interesting one. Arsenal will probably just destroy PSG again. We beat Arsenal last year on the way to the final. Unfortunately, trickier than we expected. Shakhtar actually put out Roma in Italy, so Shakhtar would be the draw we'd be looking to get. If we can get Shakhtar, I'd be over the moon. <clears throat> East Coast set to stay. Yep, I said <clears throat> previously that the East Coast situation would sort itself out, and of course, so it has proven. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Shakhtar donates gone Napoli, probably what we want. We or Benfica, there's a couple we would want actually, we want to avoid Bayern at all costs I don't particularly want Atletico and we'd like to avoid Manchester United I'd like Shakhtar, Napoli or Benfica preferably, but just avoid Bayern so the first game in the quarterfinals will be Shakhtar Donetsk hosting in Ukraine in the first leg Real Madrid beautiful <laughs> so that sh that'll be us without trying to sound too overconfident. That'll be us in the semi-final. There's no way Shakhtar will be able to resist our, our might. But that's going to do it for this episode. Just the one game in the Champions League and, of course, the draw. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Next time when we come back, if we look at the schedule, we will be playing... Ooh, two losses in a row, don't like that. We will be playing Real Betis and we will be playing the first leg of the Champions League game. Then after that, it'll probably be Alaves and the second leg. But two away games next time, Real Betis in the league and Shakhtar Donetsk in the Champions League. So I hope you guys will come back for that one. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time.